truly is an amazing thing that Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 through 23 is proclaiming. Even as messed up as we may have once been, or even as messed up as we may still be, if we believe in the atoning sacrifice for our sins through the reconciling death of Christ on the cross, no charge of condemnation or sentence of eternal death can ever be brought against believers in the court of divine justice. Friends, listen to this promise for all believers from Romans chapter 8, verses 33 through 34. Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one. For God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. For those who are in Christ Jesus, when God looks at us, he sees his son Jesus. We have been declared holy, without blemish, and free from any accusation. So, because of Jesus' supremacy over all things, each of us must face a question today. Is Jesus supreme in our lives? The reality is, church, that Jesus needs to be not only prominent in our lives, Christ also needs to be preeminent in our lives as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus should not just be another application we add to our lives, but rather instead be the complete and whole operating system of just Jesus, which directs and drives all of our lives.